Endemic has a pretty good cushion. Even if they do falter with second, they could fall into third, but that's like worst case yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah. But what they're actually going for in regards to second place, like they want full sweeps as well. They want that home advantage yeah, home position advantage. into the playoffs, because that means everything. That means they're not going to be susceptible to the counter pick, which is exactly what we're going to be seeing right now. They are currently in the away spot. It's actually going to be Shine rocking that Cody going up against Mono's Fong. All right, here we go. In this matchup, I, even though I play a little Cody, I really don't know how it plays out at the high level. Ooh, nice retaliation forward throw, keeping the frames. No, just walks up. Soft knuckle, little charge there. Oh, back cash, not to that. get away though. Absolutely cannot back dash that. And I think Cody does pretty fine against this. Yeah, that tornado is going to be a problem. Even like ruffian kick, we've seen that mm. exhibited by Shine pretty well. EX follows behind it, full that screen, takes to the air, and wow, Mono is in control right now. Once again, though, I, I know, ooh. ooh. Okay, sets up the miss, forward throw, not dead just yet. Watch out for the slide. Oh my god, I thought it was going to be some sort of crazy mix, but Mono, nice, easy, crouching light kick, checking shine from that far away. I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be some work needed here. We're going to see... Ooh. Mono take out, excuse me, Shine take out Mono, what it's looking like, man. I'm not sure how Cody negates this. He doesn't have good wake-up options, so the neutral has to be the thing that you keep in control at all times. Oh. But we talk about the normals that Fang has at his, at his disposal, and it's going to be really hard no matter what. Oof. And I love that. Yeah, you can't get that V-Skill out for free. Cody's pretty much just going to track it down with Ruffian Kick. The block is there. Look at this. That cower stance. Yeah, the cower such a problem. Down forward, Fierce does get punished. I like that from Shine. In hot pursuit now. Okay, crouching, crouching heavy, heavy punch. punch. Just keep him honest. Can't press the button after that. Whoa! Nice anti air and gets the trade so the poison doesn't stay. Mm hmm. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, the tornado forcing Mono to kind of sit back a little bit, which is super important for Shine because now you get to get this activation in the corner. Gets the play. Backdash, yo, just chucks the shank. Back throw, wait a minute. Trigger on the table, another forward throw. I love saving it, trying I was to wondering. Shift, speed skill through it, not gonna work. Yeah, I was wondering if that was gonna be a, a tool to play here. Wow. Against something like Fung's uh, Tower Crouch or even the Rio Benda. Wow. Nice, let's go. Perfect. Uh, one corner game, you win. <sighs> Honestly, when you were like far away, it, it didn't seem like, like, it doesn't seem like you had to be that close to him, to be honest. Yeah. Like, you, you could wait more than he waits, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, he's definitely doing jab, jab, counter crouch. Even if, like, say he had got it blocked, I think there was a little bit of coverage after that. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how, how long the real Venda would last. So we'll see if that, if that situation ever occurs again. Man. Right here. Yep. Mm, and the mist stays there quite a bit, too. And look at this poison stacking up against Cody. Okay. Crime Sway gets the hit, fights out of the corner, gets the hit on the crouch, medium punch, final fight combo into activation. Watch out for the stun. Out of there. And still can't keep him contained. The stun no longer a factor in just a bit. Yes, sir. Setting up traditional Fong play, right? We're going to get the Ryu Bendo. We're going to get a little bit of that poison. Sotoja trying to keep Shine in place. Oh, no. The clouds are already there. Oh, the interrupt three jabs on top of that. The reversal to get out of there. Jumps over it. I yeah. can't believe Fung cleared it. And this is not looking good for Sean. I can't believe the Fierce actually was within range for a follow-up. Even Smug kind of was just like clapping it up. He's like, damn, that was good. A little bit of a, su a surprise from both sides of the bench. Man, this moves your game pretty strong. I don't like that option of going past the... The tornado, mm -hmm. because it's just so slow moving. You do it too late. Except for that instance, that's totally different because you actually land that hit. Yeah, and, and it's because it's the EX, right? You get multiple hits with the EX from Cody, so you get a lot of chances to walk behind it, slow moving projectile. No, too. I mean like off of the, the projectile that Fong let out, right? He let oh, the yeah. yeah, he let the Mishiku and then EX slide under to connect even afterwards. Yeah, so he just punished the, the fireball. Yeah. yeah, he punished the fireball correctly. Oh, that was cool. Once again, trying to use that medium kick ruffian to chase down Fong like you pointed out before, and it is not working out. This man's in the Matrix, dude. 
He's dodging everything. Good pressure. I feel like Fong's the type to take both kills, though. <laughs> Definitely. This guy's cheap. Trying to take advantage of it, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Weaving in and out of the Matrix. Can't keep him contained. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. The confirm and the poison steal there. Oh. Cody is in a lot of trouble. Trigger is there. The let EX is going to stay there in the air. The air is ready. Mono takes it 2-0 over Sean. Man, that's that's another series for Shine going 0-2, I think. Yeah, literally last weekend, or last week, Sienna had taken down Shine 0-2 okay. with that Seth versus his Ibuki. And even beforehand, we even had the Angry Birds matchup that he had with Nasser, right?